do this. You didn't have to. What, showing up? I have a cold. <laughs> you didn't have to show up. I have a cold. I, she I did. No, it, okay, and I wanted to say. It for three weeks. No, I wanted to say to you also that it, it's not that. No, it's not from me. It's from somebody else, this cold that you got. Because it, you get it right away. It doesn't like, oh, three weeks you know cold, incubation you know period. Work. You know how colds work. Yeah, yeah, wear that. I might wear my how gloves. Are you? No. Um, this is James Patrick Stewart. Three names. Hi. Three names. Yeah. Why? Why three names? Yeah. I was, believe it or not, when I was a little kid, I was born Patrick Stewart. Yeah, because your wife called you Patrick. That's right. When she emailed me, she said, I'll yeah. ask Patrick. I'm like, who is 20 that? years ago, I was on All My Children, and I, w I was Patrick Stewart, and yeah. I got away with it. And then I got like a memo through the unions that Patrick Stewart from Star Trek was none too happy about it. So. Really? Yeah. Was so. he getting fan mail from Stoke fans? Yeah, and, well, I was getting checks of his. He, I actually one time deposited a check of his. And, Fantastic. <laughs> that's the that way was, to do it. That's when I learned what a clawback is. <laughs> Apparently, there's something called a clawback where they can force you to give the money back. But uh, yeah, so anyway. What you, was it, 20K? It was like it residual. It's a lot more money than I. Yeah, it was a lot of but money. But you no. legitimately thought it was yours. $4,500. Okay. Yeah, it was the first show that I had done. It was, it was, oh, and, and, that's and funny. So we'd both done it, and he'd gotten paid four times as much as I did. But I thought, hey. Whatever. This I don't know how this works. You didn't know. How do I know how residuals work? You didn't know. Just play dumb. Just thing. play dumb. Sure. <laughs> sure. I didn't spend it because I was scared of it. But anyway. <laughs> no, and then you, you couldn't be Jimmy Stewart. <clears throat> no. Or James. Even no. James yeah. Stewart. Yeah. 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 Although I have been, I have been given that like in auditions and stuff like that. You'll go into like Gary Zuckerbrod, the, the casting director. He did that to me oh, once. Yeah. You walk in the room, you're already nervous as it is. Like, well, uh, Jimmy Stewart. Well, I'm like, thanks, <gasps> thanks so a lot. Good. Now I feel great. That's, That's right. Okay. It didn't make That's you comfortable. Right. No, it made me. Everything makes me uncomfortable. Really? <laughs> yeah. Everything. Do I do I make you uncomfortable? Oh yeah, but in the best way. The best way. Um, yeah. Except really? when you give me this freaking cold three weeks ago that I've been. No, fired. it wasn't from me. Yeah, it was. It was from, uh, my guess, yeah. is it was from one of the children that your kid goes to school with. Yeah, I have kids. Do you want to see a picture of my family? And don't, yes, I've seen your family. I'd mm -hmm. love to see it again. Sure, but sure. Uh, you know what I think is so funny? As a parent, you're always blaming the other kids at school. Did Did you find that? Oh, it is. Oh, I'm going to put it up. There's me and then there's Jocelyn and there's Graham. See, here's the you. hair situation. Too. That's, That's you. me, yeah. That's Jocelyn. Yeah. But her hair, you know what? what? Her hair. <laughs> Her hair is longer. I'm not a very good drawer. <laughs> but that's our cat. That's What's the, wrong? That's the lila. Uh, just uh, if I... you hold it at the connection, I get a lot of... Like, oh, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. you are screwing up. Yeah. So, oh, well, <laughs> God forbid we have a boom. Wait, but, who's the little one? Who's the little one? That's Colin. He's my baseball player. Look, there he is in his, he's in his uniform. Yeah, he's in his uniform. Right Can you there. see? So he's, Can wearing you his see? he's wearing his batting helmet. James Patrick Stewart drew yeah, that. I did. It was a picture Three of my names. family. Three names. Three names. Um, I'm Am gonna. I, I'm a little overdressed. I think. I, no, no. Uh, Ian, my... you know, Ian Buchanan had two changes when he came, and Finola was very dressed up too. Wow. Yeah. No. I, so, I saw Finola. I like Finola. That was fun. Yeah. Well, I yeah. have and two on giant, Finola. Come, you guys had giant mugs that day. It was Would great. Would you like one? Uh, no, I'm enjoying this. The boiled lemon. A boiled lemon. By the way, if you boil, take six lemons, two quarts of water. Boil the lemons, then take everything out. It's the most amazing source of getting the vitamin C in your body. I don't know why. It just is. Whatever it is, is working great. Because like on the drive don't over here. Don't you feel here, better? Oh, my gosh. I was yeah. looking at Rite Aid like, please, just let me just get some drugs. I, I was like, you know, watery eyes and stuff. I have some um, antibiotics, too, that I'd love to give you. Sure. Let's, why don't, just, why don't, can that be my task? Can that be the thing? Just give me some cough syrup. full of drugs. <laughs> And I'll call it, syrup, just put me uh, in an Uber. Codeine. Just put me in an Uber home. Codeine, sweet. Normally I have to I have to go to Vancouver for you that. Know, I know, right? I don't understand like the codeine thing. All it does is make me kind of hate life. No, yeah, you have to you have to go th you have to walk through that. Oh really? Yeah. I just have to get have through to that. Push part? to the other side to the good stuff. Yeah, it just makes me go. <laughs> 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 I mean, I can't imagine there's a good point. Like how right. much do you have to take to get to no, a good point? I don't condone that at all. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. No, it was a good bit. It was Whatever. A good bit. Yeah. So um, don't we stay work in school. together. Stay in school. Stay in school, kids. Don't be an actor. Yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of uh, students watching watching this show, do they? What is your demographic? Heavy on the heavy on the women, correct? 
I don't know. Some gay guys, Tobin? And, and then like um, Larry do, Poindexter, TV and films. Larry Poindexter. Why do they have to be gay to I enjoy know, me? Larry's great. He's got a family. Why would I do that? Why would um, I throw him under the bus like that? I, I, Not I that there's anything wrong with it. No, no, no. Take it away. This is the beauty of my of yeah. my podcast is I cut things out, so I, I watch that. it. Yeah. yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> I watch it, and this I'm one like, is getting interesting. I'm like, uh, oh, yeah, man. sure. <laughs> I had there's one girlfriend of mine that her kids um, heard about. We were talking about penises, like and you, like you do. we're both like I do. We're both single gals, sure. and we're talking about penises a lot. Mm-hmm. And her her children were horrified. Sure. So I had to just rip the hell out of that one. Sure. And I'd appreciate it if we keep the penis talk to a minimum. I have I have children of my own. Jocelyn and I. Jocelyn would be cool with it. She's she's. We've been together a long Jocelyn time. Jocelyn is actually the one to have on this show, <laughs> not you. It totally. Should be, it should be Jocelyn. Yeah. Um. How how amazing is it to work with me? How amazing? No, that now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. This is worth the drive. The only reason I had him. Here. Yeah. No, you're great. You're funny. Thank you. And you are just. I, not, it, was nah. just it was a joke. You didn't have to. Not, not, no, no, no. I want to talk about this. This oh. is stuff that needs to be. Because I have right? a burning question for you. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> she just totally blew the ears off. Poor Rob over there. I have a burning question for you. No, but you're. But I'm a good time. Thank you. Okay. I forget what I was going to say. Yeah. Why don't I go ahead? Um. Meryl Streep, dude, yeah. we did not have this conversation. Yeah. I just, in doing my research on you, oh. I just saw that. Oh my God. So I worked with Meryl Streep. He yeah. worked with Meryl Streep, yeah. and it's complicated. Yeah. By the way, oh b- my God. Yeah. yeah. And it was so great. And I was good. And you were like the funny guy in the scene. <laughs> did you see the movie? She was great. She put. She has this bit where she's Please. like, she's got like an eyelid thing, and she ends up and going he's to the plastic the, surgeon. The plastic surgeon, and and I explained to her how painful it's going to be, and we have to make an incision here. It was, it was uh, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well, from she's, be- yeah, she's the greatest. So you walked in your, and she said, hi, I'm Meryl. Yeah. And you said, hi, Meryl. And yeah. Nancy Myers was the director, right? She was. Yeah. And Nancy did a million takes. I don't know. And and I've uh, read for Nancy a million times. Have you? For the one role. Have you worked for which role? The for, same role every time? Yes. Yes, a million times. And in fact, I was almost home from yeah. Sony Studios. And they said, Nancy wants to see you one more time. Can you drive back? Which role was it? Was it for it It's was, Complicated? No, it was for um, the one with Diane Keaton and Jack Nicholson. Oh, oh uh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Love that. How do oh, you, no, no. You're such a Diane Keaton fan. How would you keep your cool going in there getting that close? Um, Just a lot of meditation. Diane Keaton wasn't there. Coding. I actually did read for Diane Keaton. Coding. Wow. Yeah, coding. I read for Diane Keaton. She was directing an episode of Gonna Date Myself, China Beach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I was super young. Yeah. Super young. Yeah, super, 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 so super, super duper. Super. Oh, hello. Super, yep. you better be a good person. There's an alarm that goes off. Oh, that wasn't even a good person. So if you're going to text me, it better be good. Um... Uh, yeah, it was China Beach at the end, at the end, right before they went off the air. Mm-hmm. And I was super young. Mm-hmm. Anyway, oh God, I said something and she made a joke and and I can't even remember what the exchange was. I was so out of my mind, excited to audition for her and I really thought I was going to get it and so, of course I didn't. So Diane Keaton was directing China Beach? Yeah, she had an episode of China Beach. I did not know yeah. that. And I read for uh, Kathy Bates who directed an episode at, um, of that fucking great, I just said the F word. We're going to bleep that cut, out. Bleep that out. Um, oh, well, I have to talk about that, by the way. Um, I'm touching you. I hope you don't mind. You're going to get sick. You're going to get your cold back. That's why I'm here. I'm giving you your cold back. <laughs> Thanks for it. I get it back. No, yeah. she did uh, an episode. What is? What was that great Alan Ball, Six Feet Under? Oh. Um, and I Kathy came Bates in, did? Yeah. And I was so excited to meet Alan Ball. I thought, I think he's well, a genius. Yeah, who wouldn't? I, I think he's a genius. And he was sitting there, so scared. And I said, I, I can't believe I'm out of my mind right now. I mean, I did the stupid actor thing, but I was out of my mind. I mean, it was Ka- uh, Kathy What's Bates. What's the stupid actor thing? I just said, I said, I think, I think you're amazing. I think That's the stupid active, yeah. acting thing? Yeah, right okay. before I auditioned. I oh, said, right, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. exciting to be here. And she said, thank you very much. And it was 
I mean, it was for her and Alan Ball. But it was funny that the writer is like, she's not interested in work in me. That he just immediately, it's like how an actor is as opposed to how a writer is, mm-hmm. right? The actor was mm-hmm. like, yeah, oh, that's very nice because they're used to people being excited about them all yeah. the time. But writers are like, no one cares. I'm just a writer. That's so, true. The, so, right, not the, a great story the, just now. The, not a great story, but. We'll cut that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But we were basically just, for those of you joining us, <laughs> those of you joining us after that uh, abrupt edit, um, we're talking about the audition process. <laughs> so nice. Okay. <clears throat> All the um, things that, so there, it's can fraught, you talk with, about, fraught with peril. Can you talk about, that rhymes like. with Meryl yes, Street. Yes. Like, you walk in and you're like, hi, I'm James Patrick Stewart. Because yeah. you were James Patrick Stewart right. at that time. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Okay, so you walk in, you say, hi, I'm James Patrick Stewart. To Meryl or to Nancy? To Meryl. Oh, we're going back to Meryl. We're okay. going back to Meryl. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and yeah. she hi. says. Hi. Oh, no, no, no. She was, I mean, well, you know, hi. Did you I'm audition Meryl with Meryl? No. Just for No, Nancy. are you kidding me? I I almost, like, and then almost none of my work was with Meryl. It was with a ping pong ball that the cameraman no. said. No, I'm joking. That's not oh. fair. But they do so many takes, though, because yeah. Nancy and she, yeah. the two of them together work really, really well. And one of the things I think I that she may that. have picked up from, like, you know, improv, because she, she starts playing with stuff. Like, the minute the scene starts, you watch her on the monitor, and she's, like, looking. And she's playing with it, and and you know it may or may not work, but it she might work. Care. Right, exactly. Yeah. What is this going to turn into? Right. And I think in the beginning of the scene that I have with her, she's in like the the, the surgeon's office. She starts playing with something, and Nancy kept it in. And one of the things that I also know is that Nancy would do for the close up. They'd do a couple for her, and then they'd say, "I just want one, just really big." Then if you ever look at any Meryl Streep comedies. Just take a look for one or two takes that are huge. I mean, like Buster Keaton sized wow. reactions. Yeah. But because they're thrown in with the rest of the sort of the natural Merrill process, right. they work beautifully. Yeah. And I would never, you know, on it, it, I would never have known to do that. This that's a Nancy Meyer Merrill thing. She also was one of the things that I learned about Merrill that I think all the great actors have is the ability to give it word perfect. That's one of the things that I respect about you, actually. You are a word perfect person. I like to... I'm not really, though. No, I've been with you. I know, I know what it, I'm, uh, I am. That's, I, no, no, that's nice one of the things I respect. No, that's one of the things I respect about you is that Thank you feel you. that the writer has put a lot of work into the, into the words. So if you're going to play with it, you're going to play with it within their text. And I respect that. You know, sometimes if I do that too much, I start to find fu- fu- I'm leaving the moment and th- and I can I can understand how a, a writer would get frustrated with me if I go too off uh, w- where they were but Meryl was always on word for word yeah but every take was different yeah it was like you start yeah. it was a it was a lesson in subtext mm. it was like you realize mm-hmm. it's like yep. the words it, it, are it, the words it doesn't matter and then everything else is just magic it's right. you just realize she's improvising while the it's like a sec it's like another track it's right. like a multi-track the right. words are the words everything else was just Wow, and you're wow. just like, wow, what is that? You know, what is that? What's coming next? What's coming next? You wow. know, that's the genius of Mary. I think so, and I, I imagine that the takes tons of rehearsal. I imagine that before she shows up on day one of a shoot, she's probably with her assistant Jocelyn. Uh, Why'd you uh, pick Jocelyn? Because <laughs> that's your assistant. She's <laughs> the greatest woman I've ever met. But okay. but uh, my Very wife. Good. Uh, uh, yeah, and she probably just like 30 days of just like reading the script, breaking it down, putting the arc, you know, that. But, she probably does, and we yeah. never know. We just think it's so easy. Yeah. Um, so essentially... Kira Sedgwick had a Jocelyn. That's where Jocelyn came from. Oh, Kira okay. Sedgwick had a Jocelyn. Okay, yes. You, okay. Um, essentially, you are comparing me... Excuse me for that name I just dropped, by the way. Yeah, it's okay. Kira Sedgwick, it's put right, that back on right. the table. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> you are essentially comparing me to Meryl Streep. Street. Kind of, a little bit. That's... That's a long way to go, but yes, we're there now. <laughs> you're both word perfect, and right. but no, but you're and but okay. okay. Have, if we're gonna I do have... that, this is really crass. But if we're gonna do that, then the cool thing is, is while you're delivering the words as written, you're also well aware of whatever new thing I'm throwing at yeah, you. Yeah, of course. Is that crass? What do you mean? No, no, it's crass to keep on licking you up and down because you're going to catch a cold sooner or later. That was crass. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, th- that's, 
I admire that when people are it's, it's, we're because especially but in our playing. and in our line of work yeah. when you're doing seven episodes in three days, Damn. you could be so forgiven for just hanging on and trying to find what the next word or thought yes, is. Of course. So when I spotted one time when we were having a, an argument, and I remember I just turned and I gave you something, and while you were speaking, you completely reacted, and it was a very real moment. And I, I remember, okay, that's I, I remember that, and I was, I was game. forgetting some lines in that scene too. Is that same? Oh, that was a, that? I think that was a different scene. But. Oh, okay. I remember that. Day. Um, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> what a disaster. You were that really was. good, and I felt really guilty. I was guilty. too. I was. I felt guilty I was, that I. I was there, before. man. After a while, I'm all like, you know what? Maybe we should just take a break. Go to our dressing take a room. Break for Michelle. Have, have just have a look at our script. <laughs> Oh, God, there's no has, time for that. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever worked? Wait, I, okay. Yes, I have. Yeah. Do you want me to drop names? No, I'm not going to do that. No. But, but there were drugs involved, and and drugs. Um, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and after a while, you're like, I'm. I'd rather just do it with a tennis ball. And then when she decides to come out of her trailer, why don't you just shoot her stuff? Oh, that's so. I've been there too. Yeah. That's so tough. That's mm -hmm. really tough. Where's that person now? Not Dead. working. Anyway, so now we're back from the edit. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Yeah. I was just thinking of that. I was getting kind of sad. I was getting sad when you were talking about. I have no, no censor. I have no censor. I just it's don't stop myself. Okay. Um, James Patrick Stewart. This is awesome, by the way. Boiled lemon. It's gotta, amazing. Gotta I'm telling you, you're going to feel great on your on your ride home. You're going to feel great. Where's your beverage, um, Tobin? I do that with ginger, too. I throw yeah, a little ginger. Ginger? Too. Boiled but you have ginger? Oddly ginger. boiled. Boiled, it's yeah. a different deal. Yeah. Okay, so so when you were talking about all the takes that they did, yeah. I was getting a little like, oh, yeah, that's acting. Because I was listening to a podcast last night. Ewan McGregor was talking about the film that he directed, right? And all the rehearsal they have and all the working things out that they have. And I'm like, oh, and finding moments and stuff. And it's like, oh, God, I really miss that. Sure. And our art on on in daytime, it's, it's so not that. Mm -hmm. And especially nowadays where it's shooting 10 shows a week. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was, do you ever feel empty? Uh <laughs> What a wonderful show. In our work, do you ever feel uh, empty, soulless? Do you no, feel like life, life means nothing? Just in life. Uh, in do life. Do you ever feel empty? I, I don't. And I'll explain so. you. No, 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 no. Because you have a lovely fact, wife. No, 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 wait, no, no, no. Because wife. the fact that I said that implies some sort of mm. judgment. I didn't. I, I'm, no, 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 no. And I don't blame anybody for feeling that way. What I'm saying is, is that at this point, having done pretty much everything there is to do, Right, I've done mm -hmm. comedy. I've done movies. I've done off broad. I've done you know commercials. I've done animated children's cartoons. You do a lot of voiceover too. It's a giant smorgasbord. Amazing. So for me, I'm I know like, the Penguins of Madagascar. I know that movie. To point the finger at the fact, because in, in daytime when we're doing three three episodes, when we do three episodes a uh, a, a day. Yeah. You know, you're taking the first take. And when I was twenty, when I was twenty five. I absolutely, that's the kind of thing I would drink over, right? I would be just like, oh, this is the worst. Yeah. And, oh, my God, I got to get out of here. Yeah. I got to, I got to. But the truth is, it's like it would be like somehow pointing at a, at a whatever. I mean, whatever, a, pu a puppet show and saying, you have, you're not, you're not valid. <laughs> you have no validity in life. You should be something else. The truth is, is that it is that. It is that. And it's it's like, what it is. Yeah. And Roger and I, Roger and I have spoken about this. It's like playing jazz. You, sometimes you hit, you know, sometimes you find that groove and it's wonderful, but you can't. Linger. You have to move on. And you have to move on. Yeah. And there is something. There is something magical about that. Like mm -hmm. I. Right. Because because right. I can't let it get to me because it's our job. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. <coughs> there's something really yep. magical. There it is. I Reflection know. The cold. Right, there's something magical. There's something magical about that speed. Because yeah. it doesn't allow for other weird. Oh, am I good? Was it right? Is right. it, you know, other weird thoughts mm -hmm. to get in because you're on the speed thing. Right, right. And, um, and yeah, but every now and then, like, I'll have an idea of what I want the scene sure. to be. Like, it has to be, it has to be deep. And, and, you know, emotionally, you're getting there. And hopefully, for me, you really have to connect with your mm -hmm. co-star, mm -hmm. whoever it is. Mm -hmm. And... That's a tough one nowadays if you don't connect with your co-star at all mm -hmm. and you're doing this. Mm -hmm. Because for me, like that'll save me. Mm -hmm. If I can look into your eyes mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, I'm there with him. Mm -hmm. 
or Fanola or mm-hmm. um, Ryan, mm-hmm. who I've really like endowed with being my little squishy baby brother, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and um, like he'll really get to me because there's something about a sibling that mm-hmm. is is um, um, profound mm-hmm. to me. Um, but anyway, it's just it's yeah, that's the, a tough the, the thing. Other, yeah, but the other thing it's too, tough. like is you that... hope that you just connect. With your coaster, right? And but the other and the other thing is, is that sometimes while you're busy playing jazz, and once sometimes you find a groove that is so fun that it's hard to let go of. Like when we did mm. our scenes, when you admitted, um, you admitted Nina. I'd seen that Nina, that Nina had seen right that Nina had seen the pictures of what Valentine had looked like. Before, oh yes, right? the sort yes, of the hunchback, a hunchback guy. guy. And for whatever reason, in that moment, I just felt so safe with you, and I felt so yeah. safe with Fido, the director. Right. Yeah. Uh, I just lost it. I just yeah. lost myself. It, yeah, was, yeah. It, it was a it was a genuine yeah. moment that yes. I honestly felt. In the back of my mind, I'm like, this is a a wild ride. What? Oh, this is a wild ride. And I'm loving it. And I almost felt like part of the audience. Yeah. And that moment is hard to let go of. Because you're like, oh, I wish I had some more time with that. I would like yes. to you know, to just let that go. And moving on to the next one was rough. Because yes, that was I so satisfying. Yeah. And then there's a lot of it's, chatter. There's a lot of chatter. And there's a lot of like this, that. And, and then sometimes I'm like, you guys got to stop talking. Mm-hmm. You know? Especially you. I- <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, no, that's not true. That's yeah, not true. Yeah. Um, I, okay, let's talk about, we, d- we did this thing, like five questions for the co-stars, and his is like, his is like, I've, I've uh, uh, climbed Mount Everest, and they come to me, and I'm like, uh, I don't drink <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I've seen Sting naked. Uh, I have not seen Sting I'm like, naked. I haven't seen Sting naked. You know, my. I mean, the best one I came up with. My kids have been cryogenically that was frozen. Awesome. That was awesome. Your kids have not been cryogenically no, frozen. No, you got me ah. there. You got me there. Ah. Ah. Well, good luck next time. I could try. <laughs> Toss might be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it, you know. I got a kid. I got a fourteen-year-old now. What are you saying? I'm just sometimes saying. I, sometimes like, as I'd if like that would be good. Put them on ice. Oh, put them on ice. Put them oh, on ice. now. Yeah. Can you imagine? Can we do that with people? No, I think it's illegal. And- <laughs> <laughs> on General Hospital, we can do that. Oh, sure. People. Why not? Wait, has Valentine done that? Been cryogenically? Frozen? No, no. Has has he cryogenically frozen anybody? I, do you know? I have Probably. no idea. Do, I I don't read that far ahead. Um, Not tomorrow, anyway. He plays like a dastardly. <laughs> Do you think he's dastardly, your character? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Dastardly? Yeah, that's a good word. I like that. I don't know what it means, but it, it feels, feels yeah, it sounds good. That's a good rhythm to Rob. it. What? Rob, you want to look up dastardly? Yeah. Can we quickly just Google dastardly? So it, has a, it has kind of a sexy vibe to it. It's like bad, but kind of sexy. Then yes, absolutely. <laughs> For sure. And absolutely, he's um, dastardly. Let me just tell you guys. Define dastardly. Dastardly, I think, has to have a mustache, though, right? Don't you have to have some mustache wax Even involved? Even a humorous term. It means wicked and cruel. Wicked, wicked and, and cruel. cruel. Yes. Dastardly. Mm-hmm. Cruel because, yes. Uh, but cruel in reaction to, to the external forces that mm-hmm. have been cruel to him. Pushing back. Yes. But let's not get political. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not do that. There's not an. I mean, because no. we. Why would we add? Like, that? there's like. Isn't it out there? Yeah. Um. God, you're good. <laughs> this place is amazing too. I'm so glad to have finally seen this. Your neighborhood is charming. It is. I sweet, wish there were fewer massage parlors, but. Uh, <laughs> Did you, you see know. a couple? Yeah, it was nice. Uh, maybe I'll stop. <laughs> and by. bakeries. Yeah, and ba- I saw the bakeries. Lots of yes, bakeries. Yes. Yes. Speaking of which, Jocelyn has been baking for me. Like I'm going to the chair. Oh yeah, that's yeah. funny. His wife, every time he has any kind of love scene or sex scene, mm-hmm. um, she bakes. Yeah, it's so, like a. It's like a. Have you gained like ten pounds since uh, you started the show? Ten is ridiculous, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> getting up to five, maybe getting close to the five range. Yeah, Does she know she, or is it subconscious? At my house. Does she know I she's doing it? I think it's that? subconscious, and then after a while, well, she she's can't stop know herself. She sees it. She's got like cake. She's got like cake plates and stuff. It, it really, it's like it's ridiculous. It's you know cookies and stuff. Frank Valentini was just like, doesn't she want you to be on General Hospital? And I'm like, apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> apparently stopping me from kissing beautiful women like your, yourself. Your wife. Uh, we had an email exchange. Nice. And your wife, I think, got from my email, like, got the vibe of me that I'm not going to be banging her right. husband. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not what I do. It's not what I do. That's not your thing? No. Never, never done it. Right. Never gonna. Bang, you know? Banged a husband or a co-star? Oh. Yeah, right? Yeah. Cats out of the bag. There we go. See, that's the weird thing about having having this stuff is it's so well, you were talking young, about how I I right I you fall of course you fall in love of course you do well I didn't know if I fall fell in love well no that right it feels like love right it certainly it feels like something you can't resist but that's the cool thing about being grown up is you realize like I can and in two days from now I'm not even you know, remember this situation it's it's a funny thing about I just feel that and I know that it's kind of like a smorgasbord when you go to to work on a soap opera like all the men mm. like I was telling him. Um, all, I mean, the men are gorgeous, right? I mean, all these, all three of you are beautiful. <laughs> but my girlfriends would, would set me up, <laughs> would set me up, and I'd be like, what does he look like? Is he good looking? Oh, my God, he's gorgeous. And then I'd meet him, and he was he's good looking. Mesh. But it's like, because I go to work with guys like this. <laughs> they all look like this. Climb Kilimanjaro, and that's like they, money. They, they've screwed up my, my head, <laughs> right? Yeah. It screws up. So... That's so no anyway, wonder. but that explains everything. But I think that um, I just have a thing of like, why are you, why are you with a married dude? Can't I mean? I just think it's a, a little bit on a woman's part. Yeah, I, it's a bit of um, a desperate move. Mm. Like you can't wait. There are millions of men out in the world. Right. You got to go with somebody else's did, man. Did you, really? Did you ever? Like did, you're desperate, and did, there's a little bit of oh, let's see if I can get him from her. That right. I don't have that. You don't have the whole sort of like this is forbidden. I, I no. And that's why it feels mm-hmm. so. No, right. I, there are other things that I like that are forbidden that <laughs> aren't don't horrible. entail you know uh, being with somebody's husband. No, it's just I don't have that thing of like I got to prove that I'm the hotter one. I don't. I don't. Hmm. Th- there's a little bit of that yeah, in it, like to, that. like validating hmm. your own existence. Like, do you remember you know, when we were younger? And, uh, did that. you ever? Did you ever? It's you, not that you dated somebody. You dated somebody in. Uh, like another like time zone like you date yeah living here God, and somebody's yes. in like italy I've dated, or something i've dated everyone yeah but don't you feel it like at this point in your age oh, sorry not your age but like in, in your life and my life certainly my if age. i were single i would be like uh you know you know you're great but you live in new york i just no nah. oh god i'd never do it now i nah. two kids i'm I gonna couldn't. find somebody in my neighborhood oh you know? <laughs> for sure but i know what it's like to be weeping at the airport you know oh i will come i will visit you as soon as i can get twelve hundred dollars together never happen <laughs> Um, I did it. I did it. Oh my God. Oh, yeah? And he was a hockey player and, and I was so in love. He lived all over actually because wow. he would, you know, be go into the minors mm-hmm. and have to move or he'd be go to another team. And there in the beginning, it was really fun to fly to Miami when he was in Miami for oh, a game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and mm-hmm. wait in his hotel room mm-hmm. and dress mm-hmm. like a whore. Oh, like, yeah. it was awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it was. He's my boyfriend. Yeah. Like it was so fun. But then, um, you know, then it got unfun. It's just like, you know, you guys probably aren't fans of Sex in the City, but there's there's well, an I, art. I well, hey, you know. Well, why why, would, you why would you say that? I haven't seen an episode, but I'm not a not fan. <laughs> Certainly you can appreciate it. Right. Yeah. Well, it was a brilliant show. And the chicks will understand. There was a, a, a whole arc of Big and Carrie having an affair. Mm-hmm. And Michael Patrick King, because I'm a geek and I listen to mm-hmm. the commentary, right? Mm-hmm. Um, he said, we purposely started it at like the St. Regis. But as time went on, they were like hooking up at, at the Motel 6. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. sort of like that. It like starts out at the St. Regis mm-hmm. when you're doing that kind of relationship. And then it just goes, not not figurative, not literally to a Motel 6, figuratively. It's it's sort of like, uh, come when are you coming in? Well, when are you coming, when are you coming to to L.A.? That's what yeah. the conversation yeah. turns into. I wouldn't into. even get there at this point. I'd be like, you know what? Good luck to you. Yeah, I have two kids now. That's changed everything for me. Yeah. My yeah. life is over. Yeah, really? As you know. No. Sure. Okay. 
Actually, wow. You have amazing Has it gotten kids. to the point where you're like, oh, you live on the west side? Mm. Right? I'm just, right. Uh, if I were single, I I'm sorry. No, I, I, you live a, you I, live in I know, That's I know. Far. No, no, it happens a lot. It mm-hmm. happens a lot. I'm shocked when they're like, okay, well, when do you want to go out? And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, wow, they're still in. Even though I'm mm-hmm. a they're mm-hmm. still in. What's wrong with them? <laughs> What's wrong with them? Beep. <laughs> how, did you, how did you settle on Just because it's convenient to the studio? I mean, it's awesome. I'm not that person. No. Um, well, I grew up here. Oh, well, there it is. So I know it. Mm-hmm. And it's cheaper than the city. Mm-hmm. And uh, as you know. That's hot. As you know, I. That's hot. I sold a house. I, I bought a house in 2007. Yeah. Oh. As you know. You don't have to talk about that. I don't need to continue on. Right. That, that, that just gave me a chill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. A house that I plan to flip. Mm. But it's worth a lot now. Good oh, for them. Good for them. Good for them. Good for them. They paid um, cash. <laughs> sure. Fact, yes, they did sure. pay cash. Yeah. Um, how how do you like being Everybody's married? Doing so well. How do you like being married? I love it. It's the greatest. Thing yeah, ever. you guys have. You seem to have a really good thing. We do. We're solid. You know. Yeah. I, it's we've been together twenty years. We've been married sixteen. This week it's a little difficult because uh, you know uh, she just got this new dog. Like we had this, oh. we have this fluffy dog, this Bichon Bolognese. I didn't want a dog. She wanted a dog, oh, nice. so we compromised. Got a dog. <laughs> uh, and then somewhere along the line, this new one, a Malty Poo, shows up. Right. So now this is like two dogs. This, now we have these little two little fluffy dogs. Right? How'd the second one come in? Um, showed up. Just, oh, just showed, showed up, up at your house. Up. No, she. No, she went and she, got I think it. She was secretly looking. <laughs> But the thing is, is that now it's sort of giving me that look of just like, yeah, you know what? She's mine now. So I think that's probably like, that's genetic. I the, wait, the dog was doing yeah, that? Yeah, the or, dog what? is okay. like, you know. Territorial. Oh. Yeah, a little bit, right? That's interesting. Well, there's no sweet love being made, not since the dog showed mm. up. Not yet. Really? Not yet, no. Wow. Not yet. Because the oh, dog's in the room? Oh, because the dog's in the room, oh. because the dog may need to go out. You know, as hot as that is, no, it's I can true. only keep interested. It's true. So long before I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to watch a 48 hours marathon, maybe. I don't know. Don't knock that. That's fun. Sure, but it's not sexy, though. It's not hot. I can't wax one off to 48 hours. Or can I? Nick Nolte. (laughs) Nick Nolte? (laughs) Wait a minute. Not that 48 hours. Come on. Come on. (laughs) That's awesome. I'm so old. He's all like, I have no idea what you old people want. No, no, no. He knows. Um, Nick Nolte. Uh, I saw Nick Nolte at, a, at the Ohio um, uh, Valley Inn and Spa. Have you ever been up there? I've heard about it. You've never been? No. Are you a massage oh, person? That's lovely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've been, right? Absolutely, yeah. One hundred percent not. You're not a massage person. I, well, I'm. I I like someone coming over here and giving m- me a massage if I hurt, but I am not a spa person. How about you? Oh, okay. You're not a spa person. I'm, oh God. What no. was cool was I'd rather take my fingernails off one by one. Nolte, that sounds awesome. <laughs> also, Nick Nolte. Uh, was at this place. He's getting a massage, and the masseuse comes out of the room and says that Mr. Nolte has passed out on the table. What should I do? Yeah. <laughs> like I was just like, Ugh. <laughs> no, what are you gonna do? I guess you just you just like put some tape up. Please don't disturb Mr. Nolte. And you know, it was it was. Yeah, you it was wake him up and say, absurd. "Get up." I guess you do. Do you? Yeah. Have you seen him lately? Maybe you leave him alone. <laughs> No night night. Maybe night. You leave him alone. No night night. <laughs> no night night. <laughs> oh my god. So okay, so we've now established you're not a massage person, but you will have people no, come no. over to rub no, you. No, if no, you're in pain. I, I can, not a spa I can, person. Not a spa not person. Not a spa person. Okay. Yeah. To me, I mean, there's nothing like you walk around and it's all quiet in the room, mm, nice. and everybody has to be quiet, mm. and then everybody has those slippers on, mm. and and you don't know where have these slippers been. Don't forget the water with like the peach and stuff the water, in there. I like it. I, and the cucumbers. Yeah, the cold dip. The, and the cucumbers, yeah. And the cucumbers right. and the oranges. And then and the everybody's salad. all weird in the room. You're yeah, like, and it if smells I like eucalyptus. Saw, if I saw you guys anywhere else, it you'd be a fun group. You're but right. no one's having and you're whispering, they come out, Miss Stafford. Mm. And 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 then inevitably I uh, will people women check each other out. In, in the room when you're naked. That's, okay, that's exciting. They do. They're like, oh, not lie. oh, it's not exciting. Like, oh, they'll just check like, oh, I wonder what does her body look like? And mm-hmm. men don't do that. Yeah, they do. Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah, they do. We don't do that to each other. No, that's true. But we. You do guys do. wouldn't do it here. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. 
I asked um, my a boyfriend of mine who was an athlete. Okay. Was he a hockey player? I was just going <laughs> to ask that. You were really Damn. hoping to create the illusion that you date multiple professional athletes. I actually do. Whoa. I actually have. Oh, yeah, cool. And I'm right. anyway, so go ahead. No, I'm shocked at why athletes? Why do I why do I like go athletes? toward athletes? Exactly. It's so yeah, why? like why? like honestly, they're Something the worst. Might be. They're the worst. Because great, great shape, physicals, great yeah. physical great shape, physical right? shape. Right? like racehorses. And, and but money. money. They they're, at the moment they're, they're disciplined flush yeah. with money. Discipline, totally disciplined. Discipline, right. but really have a roving penis for sure. I see. A roving penis. Yeah, you got to take the bad with the good. <laughs> no? And <laughs> and uh, and there's like, there's it's a... It's a line at a roving penis. Like there, there's an agreement amongst all of them. Like, yeah, just, that's like... That's on the DL. Yeah, they all... It's pretty gross. The the cheating? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so you have to deal with that. Right. But but I think I do you have I to like do them. I think I like them Did because I think that they can be like nutty. They can be like balls. I like like you know. Remember LeBron fucking leaping across the thing and stopping that. You know the the last championship game. Like he leaps across yeah. and freaking stops uh -huh. that ball, <clears throat> smashes that ball against against yeah. the board. It's like. Oh my God! Like there's something so so amazing about that kind of there, personality that will yeah, that is gonna win and take something down. There's also no a matter. hum. I mean, I don't want to get too trippy, but there's like a hum when you're around somebody who's in their the peak. Like I remember sitting next to Michael Chang and Courier. These guys were big tennis players mm -hmm. back in the day. Mm -hmm. and it was in France, and I remember I was having breakfast, and they were on either side of me, and Michael it was just Chang. like buzzing. It was like you could just feel yeah. the energy because these guys were at the peak of their game, physically, yeah. mentally, and it was like I would love to hang out with somebody like that. It was like doing a Reiki massage. You just walked out feeling on top of the world. So yeah, I can see how that amazing. would be incredibly attractive. It's very, very yeah. attractive to me. You're gonna look at the picture of my family again, or no? I'm, I'm keeping that. I'm okay. keeping that from my board. It. Yeah. Um, I have a game okay, for us. All right. Because you're a musician. Oh, cool. Would you like to tell people what you play? I play the drums. The drummers are usually like the crazy ones. Yeah, roving penis usually is that where you're? No, going no, like with that? like really like drummers are known for just being the whack. Yeah. Okay. The, the is that Keith true? Moon. Keith what? Moon. Yeah, Keith Moon, Keith Moon is Moon. awesome. Anyway. John Bonham. John Bonham, right? Ginger uh, Baker. Zeppelin. Ginger, Ginger Baker. Baker. Crazy as a barrel of eggs. <laughs> Um, okay, good card so player though. Good this card is a player. new. This is a new. Um, okay. A new game. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Maybe okay. it's going to be boring. It could be. Yeah. But it's a test for you. All right. As a musician. Okay. Um. I'm. Cool, man. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna read a lyric. Okay. And you're oh, gonna tell. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You're gonna tell right. me where who what song it is. Okay. Okay. Maybe okay. sing it. Okay, all right. Because do you sing too? I don't, but uh, yeah, I sing. But background, you mm -hmm. do background yeah, vocals. I, I hum. I'm more of a because hummer. Because you, mm -hmm. you want your drummer to like contribute some way. Vocally. Sure. Okay, so actually, right. this might be this might be one this of is, my... You listen to rap, right? I listen to everything. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, this might be rap. one of my favorite lyrics. Okay. It, lyric? My, one of my, okay, lyrics. This might be my favorite lyric. Okay. Lyric, yeah. singular, yeah. Um, my, of all time. Okay. Uh, so I just get okay. Okay. My children. <laughs> the show is experiencing a lull. I sink like a stone. Yeah. That's been thrown in the ocean. Yeah. My logic has drowned oh, in a yeah. sea of emotion. Yeah. 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 Uh, How that's beautiful the, is that? Be still my beating heart. Ah, oh, good. Uh, sting nothing like the sun. Yes. Uh, uh, Very good. A and M, nineteen eighty eight. <laughs> uh, no, nineteen eighty eight. Oh, uh, was it maybe? Was it 88, I sink like a stone that's been yeah. thrown in the ocean. Yeah. My logic has drowned in a sea of emotion. emotion. Stop, Stop before you start. Be still, still my beating heart. heart. Oh, that's a good song. That's a great so album. Great. It's a great a album. Great album. Uh -huh. Uh, I was actually. I can, I'm going to drop another name. I was actually. Okay, youngster. Sorry. I okay, was, youngster. I was. It's Sting. Do you know who that is? I do Yo. know. Okay, Tobin. Of work. the police. <laughs> of the police. Yeah. 
I was actually yeah. at his house when he was recording that. He, oh, that's right, because you've seen him naked. I have. You, I can't believe you didn't ask that, that story. Well, I'll ask now. I don't want to tell yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Not on camera, are you crazy? But it was actually while he was, he was actually writing the songs for that album, he was, really? living, he was in Malibu, and he had this thing called a synclavier, which in those days, a synth- this, it was the yes. top synthesizer. You know that I reference? I know of it. Yes, I do. She gets I do. all of my references. Yeah, I, all of them. Uh, and it was like this $100,000 piece of equipment, this. which in those days was like a million back in the 80s. And, and he would just like play these songs and you'd be listening. And, and as a closet Sting fan, you'd just be like, oh my God. And then he'd just my click closet. it off and go, rubbish. Well, because I wasn't, I'm not in his house going, dude, I'm like the oh, biggest oh, police oh, fan in ever. Because he was like a friend, yep. his, he, a friend cool. of mine was working for him. Yeah, Sorry? Definitely. You got to play cool. Totally, yeah. right? Yeah. And like I was like studying art history in, in, in University of right. San Francisco. And, yeah. and he had wow. like this great art in his house. I could tell him what it was. And I'm acting like I'm all, I don't know who you are, Sting. I don't know. I don't know your stuff. And inside I'm dying. You, <laughs> and, you know, and he would be like, he just like, he just like, he'd roll in off of his, uh, He'd roll in off of his uh, windsurfer and he'd just peel his white suit off and rinse himself off. And you're like, dude, I'm straight, but <laughs> you, got go, you got it going on, man. Look yeah, no, no, no. But there's mm. that's understandable. Mm-hmm. There's a mm-hmm. thing sometimes. And he was, yeah, he was in great shape. The guy mm-hmm. exercised like crazy, right? So, you mm-hmm. know, the guy looked like he should be called Nike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. You got another one for me? I'm I have a few. Right, I'm oh, you game. do? Yeah, okay. I'm good. 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 Yeah. Okay. I wonder if our viewers enjoy it. They just enjoy Probably looking not. at you. Chicks dig him so much. Chicks dig him. Like they're all so hot yeah, for you. Sure. Especially the ones that want to take care of me since I have a cold. <laughs> That's hot. No, they do. They. I, it's good. It's good to take sort of, care of someone, sure, isn't it? Sure. Tell my wife. My wife is not a caretaker. She steps over me. No, no. She at steps this over point, me. Twenty years. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. No. Understandable. Can I get okay. a Kleenex, honey? <sighs> Again. I just gave you one yeah, yesterday. That's how. That's how we are. <laughs> um, All right. Oh, shoot. War children. Yeah. Uh, that's what my Whoa. favorite. War children. It's just a shot away. It's just a shot away. War children. It's just a shot away. It's just a shot away. Well, that's Rolling Stone. Okay. That's the okay, Rolling yes. Stones, right? Give I don't me, know. Give me shelter. That's, yeah. That's, a, is that, yeah. It's, a, okay. So, okay. Here's, here's another one that's pretty great. Okay. Okay, so I got to put these more in like a conversation thing, conversational. I have to be conversational <laughs> with this because <laughs> then you won't be able to get it. Okay? You got to say it like <clears throat> Shatner. Okay, so you like see. Shatner? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You see. Mm-hmm. You see. My old man's got a problem. Um, he lived with the bottle. That's the way it is. Mm. He says his body's too old for working and his body's too old for to look like this. My mama went off and left him. She wanted more from life than he could give. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's almost, that's almost certainly uh, William Shatner, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. I, I don't know that one. I wish I you did. Don't, you no. don't? <clears throat> no. Really is that John Mayer? Song. Is that John Mayer? Mm-mm. John Mayer? It is. From Continuum? Justin Bieber. Justin Just, Bieber. Is it Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber. Who is it? No problem. Who is it? Leave with the bottle. That's the way it oh, is. Oh, he oh, says, oh, body oh, too yeah, old Tracy, for working. Tracy Chat- no, not His Tracy body Chapman. too young for you looking like this. Tracy My mama Chapman. went off and See, left put it him. That way. She wanted more than life for life than he could give. She said, yeah. someone's got to take care of him. I quit school. That's what I did. Fast Car, yeah, fast which car. is a f- genius song. Sure. I listen to it now and I'm like, I because remember when she first came out? It's a heartbreaker. Yeah. And it was like, who was like that? Right? There was no one like that who looks so authentic like she does in such yeah. a great, great, deep voice. Yeah. And that that album, we call it album, right? Yeah. Was so amazing. <laughs> album. Who are you listening to now? Do you li- are you listening to anybody right now? It's you know, weird, isn't it? In the old days, I'm, music was so important. I used to, I had a guy friend, Tate, mm-hmm. and who would come over and we'd lie on the floor and just listen to albums. Do you guys do that? Probably not. No. Right? I mean, That's but do kids be, though, do that anymore? And I wasn't a kid. I was in my 20s. My, no. Well, what what ends up happening is my son asks me to turn on Hall of Notes, right? Like, so that he can listen to Man it. Eater. On, yeah. He, so he can listen to it I on, love that. on uh, Sonos, you know? Yeah. It's, it's all so complicated. I want to put up like a. a love that they're listening to Hall of Notes, though. Oh, yeah. My kids love music. Oh, yeah. That's my dad good was a for them. I know. My dad was in a group called Chad and Jeremy in the 60s, which was a big yeah. deal. Gold records and stuff. So it's in their blood. You know, 
They're both drummers. Yeah. All three of us are drummers. Wow. Right. Yeah. In fact, aren't we doing? Aren't we doing? We're doing like an appearance. Are we doing what? Are we doing? An we're appearance? doing an appearance. And are you going to play the drums? There's a band there. Oh, and you're going to play the drums. I'm, I'm not saying I am. I'm just saying I'm going to try. I think you're gonna. I'm going to try. Oh, those women, they'll just be like, oh. You think? That's important. <laughs> I mean, that's why you pick up the sticks in the first place, right, man? The chicks. <laughs> chicks. Okay. They're like, they're like a guy with rhythm. I must. Yeah, we all like mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I must apologize for acting skank and treating you this way. Because I've been acting like sour milk on the floor. It's your fault you didn't shut the refrigerator. Mm. Maybe that's the reason Mm -hmm. I've Mm -hmm. been acting so cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost certainly John Mayer burn up in your atmosphere. I have no idea what that is. It sounds like Miley Cyrus. Did you just improvise that? No, it's a real song. I'm going to sing it for you. I must apologize for acting skank and treating you this way because I've been acting like sour milk on the floor. It's your fault you didn't shut the refrigerator. Maybe that's why the reason I've been acting so cold. Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street. Sweet escape. What? Sweet escape. Oh. Uh, As Gwen Stefani. You know that? Like, no one ever knows alerts. It goes, because I've been acting like sour milk all on the floor. It's your fault you didn't shut the refrigerator. Maybe that's the reason that, that I've been acting so cold. Hey, there it is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the cold. Listen, kind of got, got me. I'm like, oh, I think I know that song. Listen, you put it out there. Okay. You put it out there. Okay. Some things work and some things don't. Okay. Okay. But you put it out there. Okay. I got one. You want to hear it? After I finish mine. Oh, all right, fine, fine, fine. Oh, wait, no, you give, give me yours. Really? Give me yours, give me yours. Everyone makes mistakes, so yes, they do. Your sister and your brother and your dad and mother, too. Big people, small people, matter of fact, all people. Everyone makes mistakes, so why not you? Isn't that Big Bird? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that song. It's Big Bird, really? Sesame Street. No. Yeah, it's awesome. Do you know I hated Sesame Street? <laughs> yeah. That's why I brought it up. Of course, sure. <laughs> I know you hated it. I know you hated Sesame Street. You I You were did. an electric company girl, weren't you? I was. Sure. Because they were like all mod. Yeah, sure. And you know, they were probably all the, getting it on the, with each other. They had A-listers too, like Rita Moreno, yeah. Morgan Freeman. They had yeah. biggies. Yeah, and didn't, and Samuel L. Jackson, was he not I, I, on oh, it? Oh, shoot, was he? I thought he was. I could be wrong. He's on everything. You see, he's done everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, say what you want, say what you like. Say, say you want me to do and I got you. Tell me how to love you. Tell me how to hold you. I like it. Just say that again. I just like it when you say that. Too. Say what you want. Say what you like. Say you want me to do and I got you. Tell me how to love you. Tell me how to hold you. Again, please. Babes. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna say that. Say what you want. Say what you like. Say what you want me to do when you got you. Tell me how to hug you. Tell me how to hold you. I'ma get it right from the first time for you. Cause you ain't never had another like me, yeah. And you. (laughs) Yeah. Sure. Yeah. (laughs) That's Rihanna. Oh yeah. Well, sure. Sure. I'm obviously a huge Rihanna fan. Rihanna or One Direction. I'm killing my motherfucking game. Mm -hmm. I'm killing the game. Well, you, you, she, okay. So you have three, I have two, but you do have the piece of paper. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was it. That's the game? Yeah, that right, was cool. all. I have a question oh, for each of surprised. you. Yeah. Gun to your head. You have to sing a song all the way through. Mm-hmm. Perfect lyrics. Mm-hmm. Which song is it? Oh. Oh. James, since you're the guest. It would have to be a police tune, man. Really? No, uh, and yeah, I'm going to say anything oh, to the police. So you were a huge police fan. I was. I was Stuart Copeland. That's, and I saw him. Wow, that's why you well, brought yourself to see him naked. That's dumb, stupid that's, luck. No, that's dumb, stupid luck. No, 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 you're luck. right. That's not dumb, stupid luck. Actually, that's, it's actually manifesting. Because yeah, if you for obsess sure. on something, yeah. it becomes like a prayer. And mm-hmm. I really do believe sure. you can make something sure, happen. Sure, of course. And in my case, I was so busy with, with thinking uh, police, 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 drumming, drumming, drumming police 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 all of a sudden a friend of mine says i'm working for sting you want to come hang out yeah. at the house and you're like no i'm kind of busy right. yeah i'm like uh, be right there well i've i've done that and then i found myself which i call too close to the sun 
I've done the whole thing of like I want I want this I want it and then I'm there and then I'm too close to the sun what do you mean and, like manifesting uh, and, yes it's and like back Icarus in the effect. day and I've frozen when I get there yeah. like I've I've done that yeah and and when I get there I'm like uh, like Cindy Brady Cindy Brady when the with the red light when she's like oh yeah dating myself dating myself yeah but yeah, I mean, I you got to be prepared. You got to know if you're going to keep on going. This is going to happen. That when it happens, you're going to take advantage of right. it. Right. Like you're going to be ready and prepared for it. Right. Not ill prepared. It was weird. Um, I got a chance to meet Stuart Copeland, the drummer, too, at a music amazing. store in London, and he was just right there. And I, I was like, I had that. I, I mean, he's one of the reasons I was a yeah. drummer. Yeah. So I, I had that. Did you tell him that? No. Because what do you want to do? You want to be like a total dork? I've done it, yes. Yeah, I think I've we talked it. about that. It's an actor moment, I think you called it, right? And I, 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 But I did, I actually, I did steal the cigarette out of the ashtray. I put a cigarette out and I did steal it. And I put it in a plastic of bag and I ran did. home and That's I stared awesome. at it. Oh my, God. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Oh it's through a Copeland cigarette that. butt. Would you, so do you have and a song? And then I bought a, photo a photograph from Andy Summers, the guitar, the guitar player. I was at, it was so weird. I was driving by Bergamont Station in Santa Monica, and I, I just this one person standing out in the rain in front of this gallery, and it's Andy Summers. And I'm like, okay, this is a sign. And I pull over. I run in there. He's getting ready for an opening. There's nobody else there except like his assistant. I'm looking at the photographs. I said, I love this. He goes, it's one of my favorites too. I said, I'd like to buy this. And we discussed this picture. It's a picture taken outside of a limousine of some fans in Colorado after a concert. And he calls it Starstruck. You just see these kids holding oh. this paper with these pens and they're just taken by the music. Oh, and, wow. and so, yeah, so I, it, wow. you talk about that's manifesting. Really I've gotten a chance to meet all of those guys. Wow. Why didn't I spend more time focusing on, I don't know, world peace or feeding starving kids in Africa? No, apparently I wanted to meet the okay. police because <laughs> that's yeah. how I am. Sorry. That's synchronicity. There you go. It is a synchronicity. Ah, uh, thank the connecting you. Principle. Yes. What is your song that you could sing all the way through? All the way through? Oh, it's probably something. It's, it's every breath you take, probably. Yeah. Great. That's a great song. Not only do I love the song, but I love irony. I've always been a huge fan of irony. And the song mm. is actually an obsessive song mm -hmm. set to a romantic mm -hmm. tune. Mm -hmm. No, it's that. Do you call that the bridge? That bridge of that? Since you've gone, I've been yeah, lost yeah. without a trace. Yeah, yeah. it's... It's, it's gorgeous. Well, it's gor right. It's, it's gorgeous, but it's, it's also awful no, because it, it's a person who's completely lost without another human being. Yeah, of course you can't be in life. And it, but, no but such that, thing as somebody that was a whole me. that was a whole thing because creep is creep is kind of a simple song, but it's it's the same. Is that the song that you could sing all the way through creep? I could I could probably sing creep all the mm -hmm. way through, but it's really simple, and and it's a beautiful melody, and it's beautiful. He's a stalker, right? Oh, well, and mm -hmm. and but. And probably going to kill this woman yeah. <laughs> after this song. But but it's this beautiful, you know, in the way that he describes her, you float like a feather in a beautiful world. Mm -hmm. Like that's, it's, that's beautiful to say to someone, but he's a, he's Were you crazy. there though? Were you, a, were you at a place in relationships early on where you just were completely like, if I can't have you, then I'm lost? Um... Because I have been there, and it was pretty awful. I mean, that's in my mid-20s. Just in terms of, like, you're the only one, you're the one, you're the one, and if I lose you, then what's the point? No, <laughs> um, I have not been like that. Mm -hmm. Ever? So not even in your early 20s? Because it was, well, good. You're healthier than I was. I don't know if it's I healthy. I mean, I think it's great to, to fall like that. I think mm -hmm. it's really wonderful. I've been like that after... We've broken up, mm -hmm. and I've been like, "Oh, sure." I, I think everybody has. You know, I think my point. My, I think my point is, is that being at a point where it's like well, you're the only one, and if I don't have you, then I'm lost. It's like that's fun when you're in your twenties. The, the problem is, is that you can't really have a relationship because you're walking around with a gun to your head the whole time. And see that exactly. Mm -hmm. That that's the thing that I uh, talk to my girls. Like you get very, um, oh God, this is this is the only person for me. And then you meet someone like six months later and you feel the same way with that one. Right. You know, and then <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah. And you go, oh, yeah, I thought that you, right. you're just like transferring right. your stuff. Right. And I think right? interesting, it's an interesting segue because it's an interesting thing about the dynamic between when you you do you fall for your co-star or whatever. It's like people watch us together playing Valentine and, and, you know, and Nina. It's like it's 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 fun to to make them believe that these that they're we're really hot for each other. But in, in reality, I am hot for you. well, right. To a certain degree, of course, you're gorgeous. Look at you. And I've seen you're working out like crazy. I've seen you in the Lululemon campaign. Out Holy like crazy. 
scene. Toledo. You can't. But, when you see this shit again, <laughs> but, watch out. <laughs> but the truth is, is like, no, it's like, you know, the, you love is a verb and you, 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 you get to decide who gets who gets. Yeah, I mean, I like playing. I actually am not. Love. It's so funny. I am actually not like that. What you just described at all. Right. But I love playing women like that. Right. And I know you do. I love playing women. Your longing who are lost. works as good as anybody I've ever seen. <laughs> no, like, I'm not joking. You play a longing that is as good as anybody. I, I love playing. I to my own detriment. Oh, my humans are here now. Look at the little. To my people. own detriment. I, to my own detriment. I love playing the woman who doesn't win. I love playing the woman mm. who's broken hearted mm-hmm. and who is uh, dying inside over the love that she's lost. I love playing that. But um, unfortunately, I love playing it so much that every single role I have yeah. is like that. And then it's really hard to like create that all the time. Julia Cameron, Martin sad. Scorsese's ex-wife, wrote a book called The Artist's Way. And her second book was called The Vein oh, of Gold. Yes, yes. Vein of Gold meaning that line in the rock that is gold. Yeah. And it, for you, that would absolutely be your vein of gold. For me, it's playing bastards. Is it really? <laughs> Guys with a chip on their shoulder. I, oh, God. But you're, you know? And you're so... But you play uh, Valentine that way, but he's so beautiful and you're very open. That's you're very open and I'll tell you something, it's very... Shut up. It's very... You know, we gotta end this soon. Oh, well, he's just ruining the it's whole like, thing. No, it's music. I have kids, it's music. Well, not screaming in pain. That's not music. I oh, know, you haven't heard the scream earlier it was deep. Is that Jameson? Terrifying. No, that dude. scream... Uh, dude, I know. Is that pain or I'm not... I live with Is it. that pain or I'm not getting what I want? That's... Anguish. I want to go be yeah. with my mom. Oh, That's shoot. That's what that is. All right, well, let's... I now I feel mom. great. No. Now I feel great. Now you took me away. No, he saw me. He's like, yo, that's where the party is. Why are you bringing me up here with all my toys? Oh. Talking, and we're back? And we're, and we're back. <laughs> we were just discussing child... Child <laughs> care. Rearing child children. rearing. <laughs> raising healthy kids. <laughs> You are catching my cold. No, I've had this. It's is what you get. This, no, that's a lingering cough. Okay. But I think that a man who's closed off um, to to his partner, especially, but a man who's just closed off is not a, is not an interesting man for me to watch on any show. Mm. Uh, the men that I love watching, my favorite actors, are the ones who like their their vulnerability is palpable. Mm. I I love. Uh, feeling like I'm in somebody mm. uh, when I watch them. There are mm. certain actors who are so closed off that I'm like, I, oh, they're doing, they're crossing the T's or dotting the, the I's, but I'm not, I don't want to be in them. Well, then it was and a, I, I think that that is something that you have that's very. It was. Appealing. That's nice of you to say. It was a perfect storm. The 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 reveal when it, uh, the scene when Valentine and Nina are talking about, you know, Valentine's uh, uh, disfigurement. You know, you absolutely were very receptive to the vulnerability, which was great because a lot of other actresses may not have been, right? It was, and it, and it just worked well. It was another reminder of why, you know, they've put us together. Because I think, you know, every, every once in a while, people like to use the word chemistry, but I think that that's like, for whatever reason, my vein of gold and your vein of gold really works well together. I think, based oh, on good. the more I'm looking, yeah, more yeah, I'm standing back. I mean. I never know what they're going to do by the time this podcast comes out. Mm -hmm. We could not be working. You know, like, like I like it too. Like, who knows? Do you know what they're going to do? No. uh, no. I would figure they'd be more. Shouldn't we tell people that we do though? It doesn't, isn't it sort of more exciting if we look like we know what's happening? We have no idea. But I do think. I thought they um, did a complete, like a page one rewrite. Like they had an idea where we were going. I think I heard that. Okay. I might be saying too much, but I think they had an idea where they were going and they had, they had a good look at us and they're like, well, let's go this way. They were like, oh, these two are too rad. Too rad to not do this. Let's go. Yeah. James Patrick Stewart, that's it. Bye. I'm going to catch a cold. Um, You're probably thinking that was really quick. And what was that good at all? It was amazing.